My name is Hassan Abdullah and welcome to the first installment of grade 10 English lessons, Unit 6, Drags, Episode 1, Reading. Uh, by the end of this part of the unit, you will be able to discuss some consequences of smoking, alcohol, abuse, and taking drugs. Similarly, you will learn about the modal verbs. So, let us come to a few, a little bit about the reading. You may have heard people talking about the drugs, such as speech, LCD, and excess chat, cocaine, and hash. These are all dangerous illegal drugs, which you know you should not use. And most drugs are addictive and will cause you a harm, so it is best to avoid taking them and always say no to a drug dealers or pushers who offers you a free sample. Perhaps you know someone who has already got the habits. Or at the party, one of your friends may suggest you give it a try. So, a student, now complete, read and complete the passage entitled Drag, which is located at the bottom of the page 95 of your textbook. Next. Um, <clears throat> what is modal verbs? Modal verbs. Modal verbs are special verbs which behave very differently from the normal verbs. Here are some important differences. Modal verbs do not take S in the third person. In the third person. For instance, he can speak Chinese. Or, and modal verb you use not to to make modal verbs negative, even in simple present and a simple past. For instance, he should not be late. He should not be late. Thirdly, many modal verbs cannot be used in the past tenses or the future tenses. Some common modal verbs are as well known, like could, made, should, or shall, must, and so. So, now, a student, let us see each one by one. One by one. For me, the modal verbs of should and the ought to have a similar meaning. They are both used to talk about the obligations and to give advice or instructions. Or instructions. Ought to is a very often used to want to express the idea that is very, that's right thing to do or the naturally helpful thing to do. Should has less of the formal, of the moral fibers. Should or how to can it also express probability. Modalists must and have to are used to express necessity. So let us begin from the first one, which is can. Uh, we use the model can to talk about the possibility. For instance, can you do that? Or I can't manage to do that. You can leave your car in the parking space, parking space. Notice that there are two negative forms in English can't and they cannot. This meaning exactly the same thing. 
among eleven negative beta value, nevertheless, or a middle of why can't or let's look at the middle of a no, why cannot like in my whole room, why is commit. We use count to talk about possibility. The man when you have a cab of key, I'm a half kind of systematic at all. For instance, I can speak French. I can speak French, or I can speak to you, or are you too busy? You can't come in. With the Karen Hamas to Malikara, offers, requests, and instructions, Marcatina is Okofka, Dalapka, Yohalamida. To Sale, for instance, can I hold you? Marcatina, Mahan, Kahawia, can you give me a hand? Or when, we, when you say, when you finish that, you can take out the garbage. And next, we use can with see, hear, feel, smile, taste, and to talk about something which is happening now, or where you would use the present continuous with the most other verbs. For instance, I can smell something Parning. I can't see anything. We can use count for dedication. The opposite of the count in this context is must. For instance, you can't be hungry. You have just eaten. Or you may can say that you must be hungry. You haven't eaten anything all day. Or, or if we take another example, we may say that he was in London. Once, how would it go when I spoke to him, when I spoke to him? And we can say that he can't be here yet. So uh, <clears throat> now, students, can wa a word you could say have energy, kalabad wa could, or aha, past tense gi can. Isaga namhan sudo kalu isti amale karak. Could can be used to talk about the past, the present, or the future. So that one is the Malika Rak could mark in Lenahi. Could past form gave it to the Ayn Horuba Ushirne Wakan, for instance, to Sarehan, when I was living in Boston, I could walk to work. Or he wanted to say he couldn't camp. Or we may say that. I could see him nearly clearly, but I couldn't hear him. And then the video conference line went dead. Went dead. Could have done a sit of an Ohanus to Malika Ratu make Bolite, Amamid Hushma, Amakarama, Hanmaka, Dixon, Isokale, we had the Dixon is could. We can also use can for, the, for this, but could is more Bolite. Labodo the weather they sing at the lake in mid could ya ka hushmi a karamat button. For instance, to silence or kadano, could you help me, please? Or Hadikale Mahandi Hikara, could you lend me some money? Um, at Sarakalatan so kadano, could I have a lift? Merkale Hokale, could. Could I bother you for a moment? Sudo Kale Mahandi Mr. Malikara, if Let's do it like could. If we use could in reply to this request, it suggests that we do not really want to do it. If you agree to the request, it is better to say can. Can by the way, it's in Kerta, what you about requesting a dollop. Okay, the main is for instance, of course. I can, like of course I could Madahikare sit. Ma wahaka katarsan kama kafian middan could ya kafian. I could help you if it is really necessary, but I'm really busy right now. Sarakalata Swakadama, I could lend you so many, but I need it back tomorrow without fail. So uh, <clears throat> we used to talk about the theoretical possibility. And it is uh, similarly 
in the meaning or to mate. Mating is to say again, am I? Is to say another example. To say it could rain later. Take an umbrella. Okay, because to have mate, am I? May we can use may to ask for permission. However, this is rather normal and not used very often in the in modern spoken English. For instance, may I borrow your pen? Or may we think about it? May I go now? may we do a dexankarta suggestion? Suggesting suggests something is possible. Wah, so the gal no kankara yado adik sankarta. It may rain. Wah, adik sankarta. It may rain later today. Man, the gal ni kadambo roba di kara, ama udi kara. Okay. Kapa do a maid. So do kare maid. We use to suggest a small possibility of something. Often we read the maid suggest a smaller possibility that may. There is, in fact, a little difference. A mate is more usual than may in spoken English. For instance, she may be at home by now, but it's not sure at all. I may not have time to go to the ships for you. I may not go. For the best, we use may have. Okay. مرکو فلک فلک تگی ای وحده دیکسن کرده ما دیکتا میت هف میت هف یه ده دیکسن کرده تو سال انسو قدر نه وی میت هف تری تو کال وایل ای واز اوت تو سال حالا وادی انسو قدر کرد رو حیه ای ای می هف دروب ایت این دی سریت سو قیت شناد اما این مدلی است که شناد و حالا ده ها شد شد I all that we use. At the back of the exam, we use should for giving advice. For instance, you should speak to him about it. You should speak to him about it. He should see a doctor. We use should to give an opinion or recommendation. For instance, he should resign now. Or we may say that we should invest more in Asia. We shouldn't express, should express a personal opinion and that is more, much weaker and more personal than must or have to. It is often introduced by I think, for instance, I think they should replace him. Or we may say that I don't think they should keep the contract. Uh, and, and similarly, we can use should. We can use should after reporting verbs such as demand, insist, propose, recommend, and suggest. For instance, he demanded that we should pay for the repair. Or let us take another example. She insisted that she should pay for the meal. However, it is also possible to say exactly the same thing by omitting the should and just using the infinity form without to. Some people call this the subjective forms. For instance, he demanded that we pay for the repair. We pay for the repair. Or we may say that she insisted that she pay for the meal. Uh, let us take another example. Uh, I have proposed that he take charge of the organization. Uh, and similarly, we can use should after various adjectives. Typical examples are here. The adjectives like funny, interesting, natural, good, strange, surprise, and surprisingly, typical, and so on. For instance, it is funny that you should say that. I was thinking exactly the same things, or it is interesting that they should offer him the job. Not an obvious choice. So, on another hand, we can use a shirt in if clauses. In if 
closes when we believe that the possibility of something happen is, happening is small. The okay, for instance, if anyone sh should ask where I am, say I am in a meeting. Okay, for instance, uh, they are paying your compensation, or I think, or I should think so. Or another possibility that we can use shape is to express pleasure when you give, when you receive a gift. For instance, what a fantastic present you really shouldn't have. Or to emphasize visible emotions, you should have seen the look on her face when she found out that she had got the promotion. And the, the final one is must or have to. So the color one must, ama, have to. We can use must to show that we are certainly something is true. We are making a logical dedication based upon some clear evidence or person. For instance, you must be worried that she is so late homecoming. I couldn't remember that I did with it. I must be getting old. Or if we take another example, it must be nice to live in Florida. Similarly, we can, use, we can also use must to express strong obligations when we use must. This usually means that some personal circumstance makes the obligation necessary, and the speaker also certainly agrees with the obligations. <clears throat> For instance, I must go to bed earlier, or if we take another example, if we say they must do something about it. Uh, so, student, we don't have a lot of possibility that we can use have to, to express a strong obligation. And when we use have to, this is usually means that some external circumstances makes the obligation necessary. For instance, uh, I have to arrive at work at my sharp my pulse is very strictly, very strict. We have to give an, our answer today or lose out on the contrast or contract. So, student, uh, in, in this way, the Britain English and the American English, a slight bit or a little bit, they do have a difference. For instance, we often use half go to, to mean the same as have to. For instance, I have got to take this book back to the library or I will get a fine. In addition to this, we can also use will have to, to talk about the strong obligations, like must. This is usually mean that the same personal circumstance makes the obligation necessary. And remember that will is often used to show the willingness. For instance, I will have to speak to him. As you can see, the difference between the present form is and some time is very small and very subtle. However, there is a huge difference in the negative forms. For instance, we use mustn't to express a strong obligation, not to do something, not to do something. And B, we must talk about it. It is confidential. In the same manner, we use don't have to, or in their negative form, which is have to go to in British English, to state that there is no obligation or necessity. We don't have to get there on time. The boss is away today. Or if we take another example, or if we look another example, I don't have to listen to this. I am leaving. So 
Now, student, it is time to do some activities. Some activities. So, complete the sentences with must, should, shouldn't, ought, and ought. Okay, welcome back, students. I hope you had you hadn't get trouble with answering these questions, and I really, I really hope you get correct answers. Let us work together. Now, then, sir, you should turn off your mobile phone in class. If you did so, great. Second one, you ought you ought to go swimming after a big meal. Did you must study German at school? And the answer is must. I think we have to go now. It is getting low. It's getting late. You must take an umbrella. It is raining heavily. It's raining. Heavily. The sixth question, she have to see a counselor. I hope you did so. And that's all for today. That's all for today, student. And see you until next. Have a nice day. And have a nice have a nice study.